So now I'm gonna go live. Isn't that awesome? Hi everyone. I think we are up. Listen. <laughs> Thank goodness I have a good yo, yo, listen. Thank goodness I have a great sense of humor. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. I stopped stalling. Let's see if I can get it to look at. Look up here a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can get that. How is everyone? Happy Saturday. I am so happy to actually be getting this live. Listen, I, I'm going to go ahead and play the drums on this one, right? Okay, so yes, you know, my, my goal is every day to have a video. I'm going to do a video every day. And so yesterday I had decided I wasn't going to give you all the long hour video. I was just going to start doing maybe 30 minutes, put a few cups up, whatever I have, yada, yada, yada. At least you don't have to be here for a whole hour watching, okay? So I get it and I'm set up. I do it really quickly. I was able to get it done in like 34 minutes total. And so normally... It's just like I'm talking now. I can't hear myself back because it's on live. But here's the funny part. I get all my, my cups put back up. Get everything situated in here. Because I set this up only when I'm about to do my live, right? <laughs> so get everything situated. Go Then I go back to my room. Get my life in order. So later I look back at the video. What happened? Okay. It sounded like the chipmunks. <laughs> now, true, it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. Well, my goodness, how did it sound like the chipmunks? I and, and I would hope that we don't have that problem here today, but I, I'm just so pleased because I was just so happy to get it to the point where we can only do like 30 minutes. And then I went in there and watched 30 minutes. I'm Ooh, don't I sound just like it? So if you saw my video yesterday, I tried to get it where it was unlisted um, because I knew I would have to take some data off of it. <laughs> if you watched it or you was able to look at it and get a good laugh, I had a good laugh off of it. And I was like, okay, live and learn. You know what I'm saying? It's, every day is, you have to learn something new every single day it's really great to learn something new every day otherwise it's going to be boring and mundane and you know what and i find out you know i know for me personally and i'm gonna get to our cups we're gonna keep this under 30 minutes okay i know for me just even with work life going outside working or whatever the case is it's always been you know we do what we do get up get dressed da -da -da -da. get to work clock in Stay at work, leave work, go to the store, or come home, wash your clothes. And so it was so mechanical. If, if, if I really, truly, honestly, down deep in my heart, think about it. I know I really was working on a mechanical sense of being for a long time. And is that bad for some people who like stability? I know for me to do that so many years, we're talking about over 35 years, for me, not in one spot, but consistently on these 40 hour jobs, I know that I clearly did it because I was getting something out of the deal. I was getting the stability. Okay. It's something about, so I am a stability type person. So for me to have walked away from that, to actually, um, and I really, in my mind was thinking, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, because I want to do something that I just want to do. Without clocking in somewhere. Let, let's put this in. And it, it was so rewarding so long, though. But I do believe that here again, now the kids now, they're probably getting right into it. For me back then, I started as soon as I could. Like many other people, we just start working as soon as we could. If, if, if the grocery store man said we can bag the grocery at 12 years old, we was around there. Every time you look around, we was bagging grocery. I wasn't bagging grocery. What I'm trying to say is, when you have certain, back then, we was getting, trying to get money or allowance or whatever, wherever we can get it. So it had to come out of our parents' pockets. You know what I'm saying? So I was always that girl. 
I was always that girl doing something. I was never just staying still. I was always doing something. And so it was like one day I sat, it was like, I felt like, yeah, I'm going to tell you something. I tell people, I almost felt like Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, he ran and ran and ran. I think they said on the movie he ran. Forrest Gump ran for three years, I think. And then one day he, he just stopped. He said, I'm ready to go home now. And I do believe that after so, so many years, so, so many years, so, so many years, I just stopped and said, I'm ready to go now. Um, and the, the irony, the, the, the funny part about it is some people might say that and you can't leave because you're so vested in, you're so deep. You so knee deep in your bills, your life, your lifestyle, your quality of living. You just, you know, and then here again, you can change your mindset and your perspective and your perspective on the work or the life or the going from one, two, three, four, five, Monday, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Even with this, even with doing the cups. There is a sense of structure to try to get the cups done now. Am I in a sense of structure yet? No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. I don't had all these years of structure, structure, structure. That's how I get the state. That's how I stay so long. Structure, structure, structure. But you have to learn how to break out of your box. I'm not saying it has to be the work box. It could just be the mundane part of something else. I say if you want to... Um, Whatever you like to do, take a drawing class, take, go play chess. That's my newest thing. I'm about, I'm, I'm about to find me a dynamic chess player to learn from. And so, or, or just like I used to play tennis, I still love tennis. Now, whether I can log and do all that, I think I can move fast. Okay. But the bottom line is do something. Don't just sit there. You don't have to just sit there and just fester with it. Do something out the box that's exciting. And at first, it may even seem scary. It may seem like, no, I can't do this. No, you really can. You really can. You really can. You're not hurting anyone. You're not stalling anyone. You're just really doing, enhancing your existence. Or maybe you want to go and throw the football today. Maybe you want to throw go to the basketball thing and shoot a basketball. What I'm saying, maybe you want to go walk on the beach. Maybe you haven't walked. Some of you have not been on the beach in years. Take a drive to the beach. Of course, you know you're going to pay the parking. Go down there and just say, this afternoon for two hours, I'm just going to go park my car and just walk the beach. It is so medicinal. It's, it's just so healthy and so loving and so, oh, feels Gorgeous. I went to the beach after years of never going, I'm not going to the beach for years. Just go to the beach. If you want to go to the beach now. I, I mean, if that's what you are thinking, but you think you never have time. Oh, you have time. You have time. Guess what? Whatever is stopping you from going, guess what? Put it on the back burner for a minute. Now, we're not talking about put the babies down now. Take your babies with you or, or whatever the case is. There is always a way to find something to please you personally, to make you feel amazing. Because at the end of the day, who don't want to feel amazing? Who, I, who don't want to feel amazing? Even if somebody does not want to feel amazing, internally, there's something that will make them. There really is something if you ask them, I'll give you $1,000 if you could tell me what will make you feel so amazing. There's something. You know, we all have something within us. So I, I just threw that out there because I had the wildest time, the wildest time putting this video on. And like I said yesterday, I got to the point of getting the video on, only to find out last night that I sound like, I heard it so much last night, I sound like it now. <laughs> but you know what? I realized what's the lesson. There is a lesson. There's a lesson. First of all, in a teacher's patience, I didn't know I had, I, I didn't realize I still had patience issues. But clearly, I have patience issues. I was actually telling, it's almost 10 minutes after, I was telling you all yesterday in my video, but of course it didn't come out great, that I had sent a, a friend of mine a message that we must work to not be disturbed. I, I sent that as some encouragement. Find a way not to be disturbed. 
consciously choose not to be disturbed, right? I leave here, go to the store to pick up just a few items. It was it was such a it was so few of items that I was going to pick up that I didn't even pick up a basket walking in. I went in with just my hand to pick up one or two things and get out of there, right? This particular day, the store was jam-packed with all the inventory. And I was like, my goodness, I'm used to coming in here and it's not jam-packed. Everything's still in boxes. You know, it is what it is at some store. So I go in there and it's, they just have so much stuff that I really would like to have. And since I was there, I went ahead and got it. I walk up to the register with all this stuff in my hand. Keep in mind, I have no basket. I walk all the way up to the register and I see there's two lines open, line two and line three open. I say it's open because the lights are on. I walk straight to line item two, register two, and I, I dump all the stuff out. Individually, it might have been about 15 items. <laughs> okay, because like I said, I may have got four or five or so while I was in there while it was finally on the shelf. I might have gotten four or five of the little disc detergent things that I like, you know, something like that. So I put it up. But there's no one at register two or three. But I've already put all my stuff out. People are behind me. And then a gentleman comes up who's a cashier. And he says, everyone, come on and come to cash, cash register three. And I'm like, I just put all this stuff on this other thing. I'm not moving. Where's where's the person who has the light over item two? I didn't go off. I can feel myself wanting to go off, though. Okay, I said, I'll just stay right here and wait for two. So keep in mind, I'm just standing there. There's no no cashier. Everybody's in line three. They follow him out, except for one lady. And I'm like, by this time, had you touched me, you would have felt the fire. You would have felt the fire. <laughs> I, I felt, I felt it. I, I felt it. And I'm like, okay. I get everything and I go to item three. It's 12. Okay. So go to the third item, third lane, waiting right there. Ironically, the lady who was at the front is wondering what happened to her one or two dollar credit. Where is it? She's gonna wait on the manager. The manager takes five or so minutes to come up. They can't find the two dollar. And I'm sitting there by this time. Keep in mind, I've left one, loaded all that stuff back up, went to, I mean, I was on two, went to the three. And now I'm still held up. I, I can't, I, I just know, I just know the steam, the steam. And I looked because it was like, leave this to her here on this counter. We can't do this. But two or three of those items I wanted. <laughs> and I do know that there are instances just like that. But let me tell you this real quick. So I'm sitting there and they're waiting for the manager. We're taking a long time. And I'm just like, okay. Because I, I, I do want to observe what is happening because it happened to me. When things happen, it is not happening to me. It's happening to you. you. You have to see what is happening in your your vision, what's happening to you. You see what I'm saying? So that happened to me. So I'm like, I'm sizzling right now. You, you, you can turn me over and then I'm cooked. How about I don't wait all this long time, then moved to three and the cashier for item for line item two comes out of nowhere. Okay, y'all can you can come over here, ma'am. You want to come in the two? I'm like, you want me to take all this stuff off of this? Um, by, by from by this register and come back to you when you saw me going back and forth. I'm not moving anywhere, man. Listen, <laughs> but see, you look at my I had just given someone a speech about learning not to be disturbed. And yes, still, I go to the store that day. And I'm disturbed to high hell. Okay. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? And so I said, okay. We're gonna get this. And I know the red, I know the guy at the red show was looking like, don't say nothing to her. Just bring her stuff up, get her on the, out of here. Because I was through dealing. I was through, absolutely through dealing. The fact that I really wanted those items and didn't leave it there. Because I'm always at this store. I'm always at this store. So things do test you and try. It's almost to the point where I'm just keeping my mouth cold and not giving any advice. But <laughs> you know, if I know I got to be tested on the same day or whatever, get real. But we are tested. That was a test of my patience and being disturbed.
even yesterday with my video, a test on being served. Let's get with it. We got 15 more minutes. Let me show you what Nita got going on here, Savannah. Okay, so I want to show you this. These are all beer mugs. And I, I brought out uh, four, eight, 12, about 14 mugs. I'm going to show it to you real quick. I think I may have shown you one or two or four. So let me go through it real quick. This is all my beer mugs at $25. I put that in the description at the bottom of this video. So if there's anything that you want, anything you like to get with me on, I can make one or many. Okay. Send it to me. I can, I can do the whole thing up for you. This right here is um, one of, this is my, let's see. This is, you know what? This is my St. Patrick's Day mug for 2023, right? I don't know if you probably can't see. I'm so tired, y'all can't see. I, I have a so much, I put so much lighting on it so y'all can see and it doesn't come out. But anyway, this is it. You see it's a, a leprechaun hat that I had blended out and I have St. Patrick's Day Savannah on it, 2023. If you'd like to get one, please give me, just, just uh, check with me in my text or on my information there. Move this chair out of the way. You can check with my um, my email on my website. And like I said, if you don't see it on my website, you see my number or you see my email, you can text me and we'll go ahead and make it happen for you. I can make as many as you want. And these, all of these beer mugs are the big beer mugs. Okay. They're the heavy ones. It almost feels like I'm doing work, just lifting them. Okay. So this is the St. Patrick's Day, Savannah, 2023. Let's see. 2023 beer mug and I put the paper behind it so you can just see a little bit. I have it etched in and I have it blended out. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna knock them out real quick. I'm try not to do any more videos past 30 minutes so you can just see it and you know you'll know if you like it enough to buy it, okay? Or if you find it interesting. This is another happy St. Patrick's Day mug that I made. This has that silver metallic. I'm stuck on the metallic. <laughs> You could tell probably by my other videos, but yeah. And like I say, feel like, oh, these are so heavy. But the guys love these. And the ladies buy them. So I don't know if the, the ladies who come to me before, if they like the beer mugs themselves or they're buying for someone else. But these are great sellers. Some of these I have uh, still in stock that, you know, I may not have gone back into the community to sell them. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. And I have the silver on this one because I showed you another one of these in another video, but it didn't have the silver on the top of that one. But it's basically the same metallic buckle here. And then the, the green, shiny, you know, gemstones. And like I said, I try to use the quality gemstones so that, you know, it won't dull out too much. And, and I do like the other gemstone. I just don't think I can use it with the adhesive that I use. That, that adhesive might be too much for certain gemstones. So, and this is one, this looks just really just like the other one I just showed you. Um, and this one says also St. Patrick's Day Savannah, if you can see that. And it has the bling here. Let's see, it has that bling out there. Let's see if I can show it to you. And it has the words. And as I really just bought these because I wanted to see how they were kind of stationed at on my tables. You know, you can just put them in something like that. You know, I always with my coffee cups, I'll put them in a display case, those little things, but I don't have any for these big beer mugs. And I'll look into that too eventually. But yeah, these are so cute. And once again, if you can see the word St. Patrick's Day, I have it etched in there, Savannah. And it has all the nice bling. It is a nice keepsake. It really is. This right here, I showed you all this the other day. It is my, um, let me see if I can use this white thing behind it. And I put the white, the white thing behind it so you can have, you can see it. Because these are all clear. Okay, this is my cowboy mug. It's on, you see, again, like the guys like the nice big one. The nice heavy ones. Oh my goodness. Feel like I'm doing weights here, and I sure don't need to get my my arms any bigger than y'all. But <laughs> but anyway, so this right here is my cowboy one. I showed you this on the other video. I bring out all the beer beards. I can put any beard color. Like I said, I went with the beard color. My son, I, I know he had a big beard, so I was I kind of paired it somewhat after him. But in it, if you have whatever color your beard is, 
talk to me and we'll make it happen. I'll put, I can put the team name up here. I usually put like Dallas Cowboy, but these particular people or oh, someone asked me I'm in the color in the middle. So I just came and just um, placed this on my computer and got it to print out like this with the blue in the middle. And then as you see, I do all my shades, the eyeglass shades, I do that. And then I, all of them have an earring. All of them have an earring because you know, our sports team guys be blinging and blinging and blinging it well. Okay, so this right here, I'm not sure that I showed this to you the other day or not. Okay, so this right here is one, um, and I just showed you this because from yesterday, because this right here had um, is another display of how you can have it displayed, how you want to do it. But this is my, um, what you call a uh, cute dog, uh, the Alpha Phi Alpha. No. Omega, I'm not sure. I know they called me cute dog because it was the one who asked me about doing it. And as you see, I do all of them with the beard, earring, I do the eyeglasses, and I etch whatever you need. I have actually etched a person's personal name on their hat before. So I may show you that. If you go on my website, that's in my link. If you go to the little video section where they show all my, it says jam with my jamming mugs. Click that with the sounds and you'll see where I actually put someone's name on the hats before. This one right here is the Kansas Chiefs. Oh, listen. Oh, let me tell you about Kansas Chief. Y'all know Kansas Chief won this year, right? Kansas Chief in the house. It was so funny because here, okay, hold on. Let me put it down there. So you can see. It's all pretty much the same structure that I use, the beard. And like I said, I can do any color beard. I don't care. Even a color, different color hat I can. But Kansas City Chiefs with the earring. You go Kansas City. Let me tell you something. I had this cup, this beer mug for months. I didn't even know they were, were going to be in the playoff. I had it for months and no one wanted to buy it, right? I heard when I found out that they were going to be in the playoff, I was like, what? I still have two Kansas City that never sold. What's so funny about it is I, I talked to some guys. I said, yo, oh, I see the Chief and the, it was the Chief and the Falcons. I think Chief and the Falcons, I think, were the teams. And as soon as I heard the team, I said, the Chiefs will win this one. Oh, no, Chiefs ain't going to win this one. Oh, I said, oh, Chiefs going to win this one. No, man, you, you don't want to spend your money on the Chiefs. Go with whoever the other team was. I think it was the Falcons. Every Man, I know, told me, don't waste my money on the Chiefs. So by that time, I was like, well, shoot, is anybody going to I want to put a couple dollars on this thing because the Chiefs going to win it. Baby, that next day after, I didn't look at the Super Bowl. I mean, I just make the Super Bowl cups for the guy. But for the most part, after, listen, that next morning, I found out the Chiefs had won. I can hear, I, I couldn't hear, I, I, you can hear cricket. You know what I start to do? I start to say, oh, but see, you know, people don't want you to come back at them like that, right? So I didn't say anything. I said, well, there's the, when they bring it up, we'll talk about it. No one has brought it up. But I told, I told you, the Chiefs is going to win that. Ooh. Okay. So this one right here is the same gentleman, but you see, I bling, I, like I said, I bling out most of them pretty much the same way. And, um, this is the Denver Broncos. And like I said, these are the big, nice, heavy ones. Big, nice, heavy ones here. This is another one of the um, cute all ones. I think it's the Omega Sci-Fi. I think it is. The one that wear purple. And I've done a couple of purple purple um, etchings for them. But probably on a smaller, one of the smaller um, beer mugs that I have. Okay? So, like I said, I, I pretty much... I buy all my licenses, and when I get the license, you know, then I, I can do my etching and different things like that. This one I made for the New York Jets. This is the New York Jets team. So you, if you have a New York Jets fan, let me know. I'll get it to you. Mail it all the beer mugs. These heavy ones are $25, okay? They're so well worth it, I'm telling you. These, these heavy mugs. Okay, so these are all my teams here. I have more teams in the back, but I'm only going to keep all my videos where it's no more than 30 minutes for the most part. On one of the one of my um, events, the gentleman asked me to make him one mug. I come home, I make the mug, but I make a, a, a similar, a different mug for the same team. 
I want to give him an option. I say, if he don't buy it, somebody else will buy one of them. When I take it to him, he brought both of them. Yay. He brought both of them, right? Then he called me back and say, but I got to have some for my wife too. Oh, I thought that was adorable. I thought that was adorable. I didn't have any female beer mug um, set up yet with a team on it. So I started doing different things. Oh, I sold some hot ones. See, I already sold them. But, but you can see how they look on my website. Go into the description. Go to my website and you will see the ones that I've done. It's a quick video, but you can stop the video if you want to look at it and say, I like that one. Are, are they the best color uh, as far as having lighting? Maybe not, because I may have been in my office where it wasn't as bright and just took a quick picture. And that's what I put on the website. But at the end of the day, you should be able to see what you like. We can make any cup size to a beer size or any beer size to be a cup size. You can take it to work in your coffee cup. Or like I say, if you can take a beer mug, peace to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, as we say, this is a glass with, with a handle. Okay, so we got five more minutes, four more minutes. This right here is what I made. When he asked me, uh, I had several people, several guys after him ask about their wife. I think that's so adorable. I think that's so adorable. I really do. This is one I made for the 49ers. One of the gentlemen's wives was a 49er fan. So I made her a 49er cap with the big shades, the lips, and the earrings. And she had on a, a little uh, hair on. I beat out her necklace and I gave her a little squirrel to her hair right here and her earrings. But yeah, I did this for the 49ers in the 49ers color. I did that for her. I mean, she. She have another one. I made several because I have a tendency to buy several just in case somebody else. Uh oh. I made several just in case somebody else want one. I made another 49ers in a different style lady. Because here, sometimes when people ask me for things, I'll give them a different style just in case they want to try a different style. This particular girl right here, I with her license, I actually Blink, I actually blink out all of her hair now. So you will see how I blinked her hair out on some of the videos um, on my website. Here again, go on, my, go on my website. If you get an opportunity, you'll see, my, um, you'll see a section called Video Jamming Mugs. Just open that video and make sure you turn the music up because the music is awesome. And, you know, just um, check it out. you see several things that I do. Several things may not be on the website. I make them so quickly. I may have showed you this, my boss goddess mug before. I think I showed you all this the other day, but I, I don't hardly know because yesterday kind of threw me off by what I had shown you or not. But this is a boss goddess, boss goddess mug with her red lips and her red little accessory in her hair and her earrings. Keep in mind, all of these, all of these things that I show you, I wipe them and clean them up very sanitarily. Um, before I mail them out, so not to worry, because I'm I, I know how I like myself. This right here, last but not least, this is one that I had for a while. <laughs> I had this one for a while. This is my boss bitch cup, my boss bitch cup, and clearly I love hats. I talked about loving hats, but I made this months, 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 months ago. This this might be six months old, or, or maybe more. I don't know. I would just test it, and I put this little little hat on there with boss bitch with the beautiful study studded um, silver. Oh, I love it. I actually have two of these in different colors. So if there's anything that you have seen, you will be able to replay this video. If there's anything you'd like to order, get with me. I'll make it happen for you. Um, I can mail it out to you. You can do from one to a hundred. I'll make it happen now, you know, because I want you to definitely love. I want your the people that you give it to whenever I'm out in the community, I'm just so pleased because I remember the holiday, people was buying four at a time. That's really when I had it. Um, two for 25 on the cups. I don't think I had any of these, but there were the cups. I did the special two for 25 and they were running, going off the shelf. And on Christmas morning, I kept thinking, everybody's going to see the cups. You know, the ones that they gave the gifts to. So I really, I really enjoy doing cups. I really do enjoy blinging out these items you got some girls in this town that's blinging stuff out that really i hope they have a website as well but i just want to bring this to bring this to you 
And if there's anything you see, once again, my name is Nita here at Conscious Cup LLC Savannah. And uh, I can get all of these bling mugs to you. These are $25. It'll probably be $5 for shipping. But I'm going to work with my people on shipping, especially if you buy more than one. I, I, I got to. So if you buy a few, I'm going to definitely work it where you're really not paying $5 per item. Okay? I'll make sure that happens. I thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yay! It's, it's Saturday. It's the weekend. I know you're going to have a good one because guess what? I got plenty of beer mugs to get my partner on the <laughs> I don't, even like, I don't even drink beer. But anyway, I have my own set of cups, of course. All my cups are new, and I set it up for you. Um, anything that you want color-wise, talk to me. We'll make it happen, and we'll make your next bling event the talk of the town, because these are not for the week. So on that note, peace out to you. Take care, and much love. Till the next time, holla.